Metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or the MOSFET is sometimes called the insulated gate field effect transistor. It has the advantage over the bijunction transistors as well as the junction field effect transistors in the fact that the gate is insulated and as a result there's no current loss in the MOSFET through the gate. Now there are two types that exist. I'm just going to look at the basic construction of both of them. The first one is the depletion MOSFET. The depletion MOSFET operates on It has a large channel. It comes in an N NAP type. So in this case it's got a large N type material to serve as a channel. Then it has a P type material. In the middle there, the P type material is insulated. There we got our insulation. By means of an oxide metal. And then it is the gate. We've got the source and the drain. Across there. And then it's got a depletion region around over there. It also comes in a P-channel type, where that'll be a P-type material and that'll be an N-type material. The symbols for the depletion MOSFET The functional operation, we're going to supply the drain and the source with a positive negative and then we will reverse bias the gate. So in this case we will supply a negative on the gate. That will allow the size of the depletion region to increase and thereby we will limit the amount of current flowing. For the characteristic of the depletion MOSFET, we've got our typical transistor configuration over there. Again, let's label these. That's a drain current, that's the voltage across the drain and the source, and these lines each indicate the voltage across the gate and the source in a reverse bias condition. So we will have our ohmic region. Like we had with the JFET, we will have the cutoff, a cut off in that area over there, and then we will have our saturation region, saturation region over there. Now, one of these lines over here will be indicated as IDSS. That's basically the amount of current that's going to flow when the gate is unbiased. When we forward bias the gate, we're going to move up and when we reverse bias, reverse bias, we're going to move down. The application again is as an amplifier or a switch and for both MOSFETs it is exactly the same as the JFET, I will put circuits up at the end of this video. The second type of metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor is the enhancement MOSFET.
The enhancement MOSFET in construction is slightly different. Again, I'm looking at the end channel. We've got an end type material. We've got our P type material in this corner and that corner. These two will connect to the source and the drain. The source and the drain. And again in the middle, we're going to have our gate that is insulated. Gate that's insulated by that metal oxide. And when we look at the biasing of the formation of depletion regions. We see that that pin junction over there is going to form a depletion region same over there. And now comes the difference. When we supply, that's an n-type material so we have to supply a positive voltage over there. When we supply that positive voltage over there we are forming a depletion region over on the gate there. The size of this depletion region will be dependent on the size of this voltage. So as we increase this voltage, this depletion region is going to increase in size up to the point where it actually creates a connection between the drain and the source. So the operation is slightly different in the enhancement MOSFETs operation. The symbol Again, just showing the end channel, we've got our gate, we've got three lines that represents our channel over there, and those will then connect to the drain and the source, and it shows it's an end channel. So we can see due to the breaks between the drain and the source that this is an enhancement MOSFET. The characteristic very much the same. Each of these represents a different voltage level on the gate. There is my current through the drain, that's the voltage across the source and the drain. Uh, again, we have our cutoff region, we have our ohmic region, and we have our saturation region. And we find that this line over here, which represents my cutoff, that is my lowest voltage required in order to create the link between this source and the drain. So as I increase the bias, the depletion region increases and that in turn allows for a larger amount of current to flow. First application is a MOSFET, as we can see, we'll be using the MOSFET as a switch. You see it's very similar to the JFET application as a switch. And then secondly, we've got the application of a MOSFET as an amplifier. In this case, again, it's a depletion MOSFET. In this case, again, it's an enhancement MOSFET.